I can't believe that I'm brought to make a video like this. So, uh, a couple of years ago now, uh, we lost one of the biggest orgs um, that contenders have ever seen. This was Team Gigante. And yesterday, we lost one of the biggest orgs in Overwatch Tier 2 and in Overwatch's history. This is Element Mystic. So... I'm going to put the tweet from Element Mystic up. I'm going to put the translation up as well because obviously it's in Korean. Um, Element Mystic have been a team at the top, at the pinnacle of Korean contenders for as long as I can remember. This is a team that has been known for many, many years. We have seen many, many of their players go to Overwatch League and not least the people we are now seeing at the Dallas Fuel like Hanbin, Rush, Young and uh and, and the likes and these these guys they all came from element mystic these these guys won the gauntlet in 2019 this is a big team with a storied history in korea a team that dominated in 2019 korean contenders a team that's been at the top relentlessly team that has been mentioned alongside the likes of runaway and gen g and o2 blast and even back in the day, Lunatic High and people like that. But this, this is, this is a sad, sad announcement. This really, really is. So I'm going to go with the, uh, with the translation. Thanks to Swing Chip for this, uh, 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 translation on, on Twitter. And it says, we'd like to thank the many people who have loved and cared about Element Mystic from 2017 to 2019. After a final esports competition at the end of the year, Element Mystic's PUBG League of Legends and Overwatch teams will be going on a short hiatus. We'll never forget the days like our first day when fans prepared lunchboxes for us or when we found a subway advertisement congratulating us after our victory in contenders and were touched. It is thanks to the fans who shared with us the sadness of defeat and the happiness of victory that Element Mystic was able to be happy. Every day was an honor and because of those because of the fans who remember every moment with us we believe that no goodbye lasts forever. Element Mystic will be taking a one year break in 2021 and will prepare to make our return afterwards. We look forward to a day when we can meet our fans with a smile again and we ask that you cheer lots for our players. We'd like to thank everyone who's led Element Mystic all this time. Thank you, the Element Mystic group. So, this is... This is an announcement, and it says that Element Mystic may well return in 2022. Uh, it's interesting. Uh, maybe this is around the uncertainty to do with COVID-19. Who knows? But to be honest, you know, in Korea, there's no reason why it couldn't go ahead. Like, LAN was being done in Korea and everything. So this seems like a very, a very weird thing to happen and we've had it rumored for a while and this is it this is element mystic disbanding for the time being at least anyway a team that is just it is a household name in korea like it is household it, when you talk about the top teams in korea last year you talked about runaway element mystic o2 blast and gen g when you talk about the top teams this year element mystic not so much in that name anymore when you look at the top teams this year, you've got to say uh, WGS Phoenix, O2 Blast, Runaway, and perhaps Talon um, coming in from the Pacific Division when Pacific uh, got disbanded. But this is a massive, massive, massive name to lose in Tier 2 of Overwatch. Like, T Team Gigante was a storied, storied name in European Overwatch contenders. Like, one of the biggest, if not the biggest... Team Gigante was a team that I thought would be bought out by an, by an org or something and taken to the Overwatch League. Like, that's the sort of team Team Gigante was. And Element Mystic is exactly the same, if not bigger. He's had countless people move over to Overwatch League and are doing wonders in the Overwatch League. When we look at Sparkle, when we look at Hambin, Rush, they've done phenomenal things in the Overwatch League with Paris Eternal in 2020. And to see their org the org that they took to the very top of tier 2. Like, Element Mystic won the gauntlet, as I said just now. You cannot get a, a higher accolade in tier 2 of Overwatch. 
people say that the you know Korean contenders is the pinnacle, and it is, but it all came down to that gauntlet in 2019, when you had the top teams from every single region, when you had the Atlanta Academies of the time as well, and Mystic Runaway, when you had Talon from the Pacific Division at that time. Uh, you had people from uh, from the uh, South American division. I think it was, was it Dignity or and they say I can't remember. Um, it was HSL Esports from Europe at that time. It was not a brilliant time for Europe. Uh, they got pretty smacked. Um, but there were so many, so many big big teams, and I mean, Mystic took it all. They took they took it all. They were at the very top of tier two with no arguments. And this team, a year later, it's about just over a year on from the gauntlet is now not going to be in overwatch and that is quite frankly devastating it, 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 the only thing that would be able to to supersede a move like this is if we lost a team like runaway which is wholly inconceivable but when we see a team like element mystic disappearing from overwatch contenders it's it's a hammer blow it's an absolute hammer blow when I saw the announcement, I had heard the rumours, I mentioned it in the Paris video yesterday, and I'd heard the rumours, but it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't sink in until you actually see this announcement. It doesn't sink in. And when I saw the announcement, I just, it feels like there's a hole in contenders. It feels like there's a massive gaping hole in Korean contenders now. And someone's going to come up from Korean trials and open division to fill it. And I wish them all the best, but to not have Element Mystic in, in Korean Contenders is a hammer blow. It is a hammer blow, not just for Korean Contenders, but the whole of Overwatch Esports. And I do hope, with all my heart, that Element Mystic can return in 2022. Um, I really hope we get to see this org again. I really, really do, because it is an org that will be sorely, sorely missed in Overwatch Contenders and Overwatch Esports. And I said the same about Team Giganti back when they disbanded as well. Although they didn't give, uh, they didn't say they were ever going to return. Um, I would love to see these sorts of teams, Team Giganti and Element Mystic back because they are teams sorely needed in Overwatch Esports. Sorely, sorely needed, especially in Tier 2. And hopefully if the Tier 2 scene can improves, and I think Blizzard have been taking steps to improve it. When I look at the contenders right now, with the skins being able to be earned, there's increased viewer viewership because of that. And then, uh, included in that, the production is becoming higher quality. It's become becoming more Overwatch League quality, which is brilliant. It's what we need to see. And hopefully, with more and more of those changes, then hopefully we can see Tier 2 get back to a, a good place. A good place. But this is... A sad, sad announcement, and there's not much more I can say. Uh, I really do hope that we get to see Element Mystic back one, once again one day, but I wish all of their players best in finding a new home. I wish all of their org uh, best in finding new homes if they want to continue in Overwatch for 2020-21. And, uh, yeah, what can I say, but I'm going to leave it here for this one. This is a sad, sad day. But for now, thank you guys so much for this video. If you'd like to give a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next video. See you then.